Hey, what's up everybody? Coach Zakeem here today. So I'm going to show you an exercise that I've seen a lot of people do. Um, and it's called, well, you see where I'm standing, right? The Roman chair machine we have in most gyms. And people do hanging leg raises from there, as well as like uh, leg crunches that are side and so forth. What I want to try to get you an idea of is how to do them properly. So you're engaging more core and not using as much of your hips, going into hip flexion to use those abdominal muscles. The tendency is there's two different ways of doing it. You can hang from the tie bar or you can rest your elbows here. For beginners, if this is your first time ever doing it, I would recommend coming on here, stabilizing here, and coming this route. Where we go wrong, okay? So if you look at the shoulders, you want to keep your shoulders, just like we talked about in that row, shoulders stay nice and tight together, so you're engaging those upper abs. They're staying tight, pushing into that back pad. Your lower back should also be against that pad. And from there, it's a nice gentle crunch with your legs bent or your legs straight. The difference is if you're going too fast, you're gonna start sinking lower and lower, then you're gonna lose these upper abs, and you're gonna start going into more of a hip flexion swing. It's gonna put a lot of strain in those psoas region, right? So you wanna make sure everything stays tight, engaged, back is pressed, nice and controlled, come back down. That's more like the beginner and intermediate level. You can also do it in advance, take your time doing it. Where a lot of mistakes happen, and where the issues go wrong, is when we decide to go into a hanging like this. When we go into what's completely like called a dead hang. We're hanging completely, and then we're swinging through, and then we start to rock back and forth, just like how I'm rocking, right? So, I always try to tell my clients, let's think of this as like a lap pull down exercise initially, okay? In a lap pull down, when I'm coming down, I'm engaging those scaps, I'm pushing those together, using my lats to hold myself up. When that engagement's there, I'm gonna decrease the amount of swing I have. I'm holding myself up so you feel it, and from there, I can control my movement and go back and forth, and there's less of a swing. The movement itself should initiate at the core. Use your abs, not your hips to start that progression. If that's too hard, it's okay to come in and just bend your knees and go through with it. Again, I don't want you swinging through here. I want nice and controlled coming through and bringing those knees to your chest. If both of these are too complicated for you, and you want to progress yourself and be able to do that exercise, what I always try to get my clients to do is work on like V-ups, okay, so you have a nice steady state control. We're just doing basic leg lifts of having a control of that lower back. What happens is, when I go into leg lifts, I'm here, and as I come down, there's an arch in my lower back. When that arch is there, that's when that swing starts to occur because you're losing engagement of the core, and you're moving through here, and you're using these hip flexors to make that motion bring those legs back up. So what you wanna work on is pushing your stomach into the floor, nice and controlled, preventing that arch, and coming back up. And this could be your step one before you progress yourself into step two and three. And come.